There are 11 different families in the periodic table. They are split up into different families because every family has different chemical behavior. And if a bunch of elements have the same properties they will have a family with a bunch of elements that are similar. The 11 different families are alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, post-transition metals, metalloids, halogens, lanthanides, actinides, non-metals, noble gases and unknown properties. Let's explain alkali metals first. All alkali metals are shiny, soft, highly reactive metals at standard temperature and pressure. All alkali metals have their outermost electron in an s-orbital. An s-orbital meaning that the electron is spinning around the atom in a circular orbit. This explains why they have very similar properties and why they are all a part of the same family. Alkali metals are all high thermal and electrical conductive, luster, ductile, and malleable. These are all the elements which are a part of the group alkali metals. Alkaline earth metals. All alkaline earth metals are shiny, silvery white metals and somewhat reactive in standard temperature and pressure. They have a full outer electron shell of two electrons and they travel in s orbital. All alkaline earth metals are good conductors of electricity. These are all the element which are a part of the group alkali metals. Transition metals. Transition metals contains 38 elements which makes it the family with most elements. Transition metals are pretty much the main group of metals since they have all the properties of a normal metal. They are silvery white, they are malleable and ductile, they conduct heat and electricity and they form positive ions. An ion is a atom or a molecule which has an electric charge that is not neutral. Meaning it is positive or negative charged. Transition metals have a d orbital. These are all the elements which are a part of the group transition metals. Post-transition metals. Post-transition metals are metals that are close to being classified as non-metals. Post-transition metals has many different names. These are post-transition metals, poor metals, other metals, p-block metals and chemically weak metals. These metals are soft and brittle, have poor mechanical strength and has low melting and boiling point. These are all the elements a part of post-transition metals. Polonium is also sometimes classified as a post-transition metal. Metalloids. Metalloids are those elements that have properties between metals and non-metals. There is no standard definition of a metalloid and no complete agreement on which elements are metalloids. Metalloids have a metallic appearance, they are brittle and okay conductors. These are all the most common recognized metalloids. Then there is also five elements that can be referred as metalloids. Halogens. The word halogen means salt former. This is because when halogens react with metals they produce a wide range of salts. Halogens are highly reactive and this is because they only need one more electron to get a full outer shell of electrons. And all atoms want to achieve a full outer shell. So halogens are reacting with a lot of elements to try to achieve this. Halogens gets a darker color as you go down the list. These are all the elements a part of halogens. Then there is also tennessine which is the second last element. It might be a part of the halogen family but there is close to nothing that we know about tennessine. Lanthanides. Lanthanides are known as the rare earth elements. Lanthanides are used as alloys to impart strength and hardness to metals. They are silvery white metals and relatively soft metals. There are 15 lanthanides. But lutetium the last lanthanide is sometimes considered a transition metal. Which makes it so there is 14 lanthanides. Actinides. A large number of actinides are used for defense operations, nuclear weapons and for the production of energy like uranium and plutonium. Actinides are malleable and ductile and silver-colored metals that are solid at room temperature and normal pressure. All actinides are radioactive. These are all the actinides. Non-metals. Non-metals are elements that lack metallic properties. They can range from colorless gases to shiny solids. Electrons in non-metals don't move around a lot. This results in non-metals being bad conductors. Hydrogen which makes up 70% of the universe normal matter and also the first element is a non-metal. These are all the non-metals. 
Noble gases. All noble gases under standard conditions are colorless, odorless and monatomic. Noble gases are not so reactive because their outer shell is already full of electrons. So there is no need to be reactive. All different noble gases light up in different colors when it is in the dark except radon. There is six confirmed noble gases. But Oganesson, the last element in the periodic table might be a noble gas. But scientists don't know much about Oganesson so we do not know. The final group. Containing really heavy elements are unknown properties. And there is not much to them because they are unknown properties for a reason. These are elements which has not been able to be documented yet because of their very short half-life and how few atoms have been created. All of them do have a place in the other families but we don't know which one they should be in yet. These are all the unknown properties. That is going to be the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, comment on what I should make a video about and goodbye.